So today I'm talking about a P0107 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0107 code? Well, it's a manifold absolute pressure, barometric pressure, sensor circuit low. And what does this mean? Well, the computer needs to know all the air that's going into the engine so that it can calculate the air gas fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And to calculate all the air going into the engine, it can use different types of sensors. It can use a manifold absolute pressure sensor, which is also usually combined with the borrow sensor or the barometric pressure sensor. There can also be a mass airflow sensor or a MAF sensor. And so it's really going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, things like this. For example, right here, this engine has a manifold absolute pressure sensor, but then it also has a mass airflow sensor. So basically keep in mind, there can't be a difference on what's going on with these sensors. It can be a good idea to get a diagram for your specific vehicle, where all the sensors are located to know for sure what's going on. But basically when you get a P0107 code, the computer's seeing a problem with the manifold absolute pressure sensor. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted, know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0107 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that map sensor has just gone bad and it just needs to be replaced. A lot of people, when they get this code, they automatically go swap out that map sensor. You can't test it if you want to. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But the first thing that could cause this is going to be a bad map sensor. And then the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on inside of the wiring going to the map sensor. Basically, keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring, open, short, bad connection, is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad map sensor. So the next thing on the list is going to be a wiring issue. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of vacuum leak going on or intake air leak. And basically, all the air that's going into the engine should be going through the throttle body. And if it's not, if it's getting in around this somehow, if it's coming in through a leaky hose or a bad gasket or something like that, then that's going to throw off these sensors and it's going to cause issues. There's some different ways of trying to find a vacuum leak. You can go around and try to examine all these hoses and things like this and see if you can't find a leak. Some mechanics will start up the engine and they'll have like a spray and then they'll go around the top of the engine and wherever they think the leak's at, they'll spray the spray and if the engine idle changes, then they know they found the leak. Another method is the smoke machine method where basically you feed smoke into the intake and wherever the smoke comes out, you know where the leak's at. But the next thing on the list is going to be a vacuum leak. And another thing that could cause issues is if that there's something blocking the air going into the engine, like a dirty air filter or something like that. So it's a good idea to check that air filter and make sure it's not all clogged up or anything like this. Also, if there's something blocking the exhaust from flowing out, like a bad clogged up catalytic converter or something like that, that can cause issues and it can throw those sensors off. Usually if something like that happens, you're going to get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0107 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.